Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Today's video, we're going to be talking about spark plug wires. And at the time of filming this video, it is 96 degrees outside. It is really hot. So if I start sweating, guys, it's really hot. It's really humid here in Illinois. So, but that's going to bring us back to the point of today's video. Uh, to kind of preface this, uh, I went out and beat on my 87 Mustang GT a little bit. And on one of my runs, I was experiencing some ignition cut uh, right around 58 to 6,000 RPM. Only made about 8 pounds of boost. I figured that I wasn't really getting spark blow out, but uh, I figured it was a possibility because at the time I did not have an ignition box on my car. And I have since then switched that out, but I've noticed something very key to the reason why my car was experiencing ignition cut. So let me go ahead and get the culprit for you guys. Okay, this was one of these original spark plug wires I had on this car. And it's just your typical Ford Racing, Ford Performance uh, ignition wire for uh, any 5.0 liter Mustang. Well, check this out. This was on the passenger side. Yep, that's right. Cracked. That was just one of the wires. This one was number, this was number one cylinder actually and I, so that was one issue but that's not the only one okay not only that number four and there's a key kind of a you know a, a theme with all this here number four wire right there look at that yep this one was starting to melt as well and I have standard motorsport little wire holders and none of my wires were laying directly on the headers uh, that may have touched at some point wiggling around in there but my car is turbocharged and having this set of wires on here I was able to make them work but unfortunately that was causing my ignition cutout issue so I'm going to show you another part of the damage Check this one out. It's melted. That's right, it was getting so hot where these wires were at, they actually melted the holders. So, there was going to be a couple different uh, avenues I was going to go before I came upon my solution here. I was going to get another set of these red wires because they're cost effective. I was thinking about picking up the MSD wires, the ones that are uh, made to length that you can kind of make your own length. or I could use one of the Anderson wires and not only this the set that I'm about to show you on my car is actually a prototype that we're testing out but the, the wires that are currently offered through Anderson Ford Motorsport are available nonetheless and feature the same kind of things and then of course we'll put these things to the test and I'll show you guys what I mean so let me turn the camera around and I'll show you guys what's on my car okay feast your eyes on those puppies right there yep those are well, these these actual wires are actually a prototype set for testing. Uh, I can't really go over the details just yet because they're not technically on sale yet. But Anderson does sell a version similar to this, which you can pick up right now. Uh, this is the gray color, offered of course in black, blue, red, and yeah, these things are meaty. So just for reference, so just for reference. Check that out. These things are beefy. And there's a couple reasons for that. And I think this spark plug wire set is, I think, one of the last spark plug wire sets you would ever need to buy. And when people go to look at the price of these things, you may be scratching your head or you may get sticker shock but you do get what you pay for also the sheathing on this thing um, it, these are spiral bound and 40 ohm resistance and really low RFI um, for any ECU really uh, but for especially for the stock ECU or Terminator X based on the testing really low RFI and Basically, I've experienced no RFI at all with these particular wires on my car. 
Got a few data logs that I did. I, I Like I said, I ran and beat the crap out of my car with these. Just to see if I could get anything to come up. No, ran perfect. But, the key thing with it, and I'm already sweating here just talking about it. You see here, on my turbo kit, and with my Anderson valve covers, I ran all my wires pretty much through here. This is the same with the Ford Performance wires. Through this uh, cut in these valve covers here, which is nice for supercharger setups, but for my setup, uh, the wires had to be snaked down through that area, and you can kind of see it over there. They run to each individual cylinder. Well, that's where these failed. And what I'm about to show you guys and test for you is how well these things actually work with the sheathing that's on them. And my biggest concern was heat. So let's go ahead and since it's 90 degrees, actually it's 96, it actually feels hotter. But since it's hot out, let's go ahead and turn up the heat a little bit more and test these wires versus the Ford Performance wires in a heat test. All right, I wasn't kidding when I said I wanted to turn up the heat on these things. This is just a rudimentary test. This not scientific whatsoever, but to get my point across in regards to the issue I was seeing with just the standard wires. So this wire here is an extra wire. I bought two sets to see which would fit best in regards to different lengths of the new wires. So this is the exact same set, the, uh, the test guinea pig set. I have same ohm rating and everything uh, that I'm testing out. So that's this wire right here. We'll do that one last. This is Ford performance wire. So let's just go ahead and see what happens. Let's just see what happens when I put a Ford performance wire, I get some heat. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh God, it, it broke. Yep, all right. That one got me a little bit. <laughs> yep, the wire broke. Okay, um, that's actually kind of disappointing. I was expecting that to last a little bit longer. Yeah, that thing's done. Yeah, you can see it. You can see it right there. I hope you guys can catch that. It broke right in half. It wasn't on there that long. That's unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to let this kind of cool down and uh, yeah, that's obviously garbage. So we'll let that cool down, air this mess out, and then we'll test this wire, see if this one will hold up. Alright, my wife's not going to be too happy about this mess, but I'll clean it up, don't worry. Okay, so now the Anderson wire. Again, this is the exact same wire set that's currently on my car that I'm testing, so that way it's in a complete apples to apples comparison. These were the exact wires, the Ford Performance wires, that were on my car before I swapped them out for the Anderson wires. So, same test, we're just gonna hold up to the flame and see if this one will actually hold up or if it takes longer to break. Let's see what happens. Okay, about the same heat. All right, here we go.
Okay. Okay. So. Same thing. I held it on the heat a little bit longer too to see if I could get it to fail. Yes, the sheathing is gone. The wire is actually still intact. That's crazy. Point is guys, the quality of the components matter. The Ford Performance Ford Racing wire, the standard wire failed pretty quickly after being exposed to a decent amount of heat. The Anderson wire I, in order to make it fail, I had to put it pretty much directly on heat. Uh, and you can see it's actually still intact, but you can tell that the core is broken on the inside. This one just literally snapped in two. So, uh, again, this wasn't scientific, but it just goes to show that these wires can handle a lot more uh, versus these. And so, if I were to be trusting my faith in my, some spark plug wires, these would be the ones to go with. And that's why I decided to spend the money and get a spark plug wire that's worth every penny. And I hope you guys would consider these wires as an option, especially if you're a turbo car. AndersonFordMotorsport.com. Those wires are in stock right now. You can get them in those different colors. These particular um, wires that I'm testing, um, uh, it's all about the inside stuff. Um, they're not available as of right now as I'm shooting this video. Uh, but they may be available assuming nothing crazy comes out of the testing so keep your eyes peeled for those But if you're looking for a good set of wires to run in the meantime Give yourself a good quality set of wires. You'll be happy that you did so Thank you all so much for watching if you like my content Please like please share and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new content coming to the channel Take care, and we'll see you in the next video All right, so I finally got it to fail. So what I ended up having to do just to see if I could get it to fail, I just put the heat straight on it and held it forever. So they will fail if it's just in direct heat. But holding it in the same spot like the, uh, like where the Ford Performance wires were, yeah. The Ford Performance wire would fail. This wire, the Anderson wire, would not. So... I think that pretty much settles that. I'm glad I got these wires on.